Hey, what's going on, guys? Comic Against the Year. Starting from this video, we'll go for implement and search for our CNC Stockfish. Well, uh, as you probably already guessed, uh, we're going to be reusing Stockfish's search, but it's really complicated best and it's no longer possible to just copy paste it, obviously. So I'm going to for uh, I'm going for uh, some major simplifications. Let's say uh, the matter of scoring most would be done uh, in the mode generator, uh, not and not scoring root most. So the the one uh, I'm not even going to be using the root most structure at least for now for for start. Maybe maybe one day I would go for that. Sorry to say, but anyway, the idea is. Uh, just trying to uh, start adding building blocks to the search routine itself so eventually uh, we see like how deeper the engine is starting to search every next phase every next video basically so that's that's kind of it but uh, the very first thing we need is the most ever the most bare minimal search just to actually output the best score that's probably the the, the the most essential thing to consider well obviously uh, there should be uh, an iterative dipping routine as well mm, so here is the entry point for search so so here we actually do perfed and return and here we want to search position okay so the very first question arising is uh, what kind of uh, Nigamax framework does uh, what kind of what, what kind of environment does stockfish search use so this might be either fail hard or fail soft environment so the difference is that within the fail hard environment uh, by the time uh, I will now open the original search of stockfish so uh fail hard environment is the environment where uh the, the best score can exceed the alpha beta bound so it can be uh less than beta and it can be greater than uh, so it can be less than alpha and it can be greater than beta uh so alpha and beta are the score bounds for sites to move so alpha is the side that is maximizing the score beta is the score uh, is the score for a side that is minimizing the score okay so there was uh, so here is the definition but the search body itself is in a bit different place nope Copy. Okay, here is the search body and takes around 20 steps if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, starting from here. So this is all, this all is the source of inspiration basically. So I don't really promise that everything from here would be reused. It takes really long to make all this stuff work. But anyway, anyway, uh, I need the full width search, which is done in case if late mode reduction is not considered. Mm. I also can't see really loop over the moves okay here it is so here is okay do move and move stuff so so i'm just wondering where it was where was the loop over the moves okay Loop through all pseudo legal moves until no moves remain or beta cutoff occurs. Okay, so here it is. Well, interesting, they're doing this within the while loop. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Make the move. Lame reduction. And here should be the full width search. Yeah, do the full search, do the full depth. No, not the full depth, but. Or maybe it's called the full depth search. Ah, yeah, it's, they call it full depth search. But this is the full width in terms of alpha, beta, windows, wow. So you're the recursive call. And they're using a PV node as the template. No, it's too complicated. Scat node. So yeah, uh, I would like a little bit different structure here. But okay, okay. So what do they return? L for best score. Yeah, best value. So they do use this so-called fail soft framework. Okay. Mm, to be honest, uh I never dealt with that fail soft framework. Yeah, here is here is the core of the framework. Yeah. Okay, so probably yeah. Uh, as far as this, this is gonna use this fail soft framework. Let's go for chess program Wikipedia and grab the code snippet for that. At first, so alpha beta search. And here should be so called fail soft framework. Come on. Yeah, here it is fail soft. So, ju just to give you an idea what this means. The term related to alphabet search uh, return scores might be outside of the bounds. So an upper bound less than alpha at all nodes, lower bound greater than beta at cat nodes. So that's what the fail soft means. Okay, and here is the snippet. Here is a very basic snippet. Okay. Mm. All these values should be used somewhere. Okay, I just want to think. So as far as I don't have move ordering or anything, as far as I don't have anything really, I think that I think that yeah, just want to grab the function name uh, what would it be altering this from time to time copy so yeah search position so here is a function body and the definition should be somewhere above yeah so define alpha beta search so just called search okay so takes position stack pointer do we need the stack pointer here yeah we need the stack pointer to make a move well i i i, I believe they don't use it for that purpose they just in, in, in original stockfish there was there were a lot of, lots of things in there so do i use this in perf i don't and this should be similar so i probably can just create the state info like this yeah th th this is a bit uh, a bit unclear to me to be honest all 
these complications. So when we do a move, so first we So position state equals to the new state and new state starts being equal to the previous one whatever is there right and well as far as this works in perfect i think um, uh, by the way i'm just wondering did they have did they have this in perfect no they didn't they didn't have this in perfect they just created this Okay, I, I I think nope. I think this might be just just literally enough. So let's wait. Stack pointer. We need the depth, and here instead of the cat node, we would be having. Um, I'll now tell you guys what we would be having there. Uh, I use doing this in a slightly bit different way. either low or dislow the null move well I just I guess well but on the other hand maybe we would be storing this somewhere in in some of the structure okay let's just as far as it's not on the cards for now we just can avoid having whatever there so uh, I would be just changing the definition here and then within the body uh, the parameters uh, would it be added if any parameters would be needed so for now just the bird search should be enough and the ready self a bit of search body so no more template and I just wanted to compile nothing much really uh, so I use parameter alpha beta yeah this is this is just fine so still alive okay okay guys so now let's now let's go for this for grabbing this frame fail soft framework mm. Exactly the same one that is used in Stockfish. I just, I just really uh, want to go from scratch here because, well, first of all, it's not possible, as I've been mentioning before, it's just not possible to grab the entire search and make it work because it's all different now. Uh, but this is the core of the particular variant of the alpha beta routine that is used uh, within the Stockfish itself. So there are kind of two sort of frameworks: the fail hard framework where it's so like we return alpha and alpha, alpha serves uh, uh, as the best score acts like like max and minimax while in fail saw we have this uh, best score additional variable and that's that's what we return uh, they call it best value so that might be on the on the cards as well so let's go for this in this case and right okay so 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 now i need the infinity and minus infinity do i have that okay it's a bit strange values for but as far as uh, this might be just fine, I think. V 
value infinite. So it's the only one, I guess, right? Do we have something else? Mm. In original Stockfish, I'm just wondering, maybe it just kicked something. Nope, the only, the only one. Just one greater than mate. Well, that's just fine. Okay, so we have this value infinite. Copy. And we should be able to reuse it. So this would be the type of value. Best score. Uh, so, so here, here, here we do return the question score. Mm, but anyway, if I want to evaluate leaf nodes, uh, so before, so questions is, is obviously to come as soon as I do implement that. But before, I just want to return the evaluation straight ahead so just don't remember how I call that there is a new evaluation we have and what I need yeah just called evaluate just take the position that's it so what's wrong with this search okay so evaluate and I'm sending the position. Okay. Mm. So if depth is equal to zero, we do return evaluation. So nothing much really, no repetition detection at the moment, just literally nothing. Okay, so now for all moves, uh, yeah, so to loop over all the moves, well, let's ask Perf for this. So I already have this. Uh, so here is the routine. Uh, copy. So we do move, it's, if it's not legal, we just continue. We don't need to do anything with the nodes. And we're not going to be calling perf driver, we're going to be calling the search recursively and then taking the move back. Okay. So, yeah. So here we want to say, do they store this? Yeah, they do. But where do they? Well, in a sec, I just, just want to have a look. Full depth search. Yeah, this value, this value. Where is this? Where has this been defined? Value, value. Value equals best value. Value. Where are you? Well, value. Okay, here it is. Value, best value. And where the best value defined, also this normal value defined, is defined. So we can do this here. And actually, yeah, let's call it value best value. Copy best value and value like this. 
Okay. Uh, this sort of a line should be somewhere best value equals to value minus infinite. Yeah, perfect. Just fine. Just perfect. Okay. Happens slightly later. Okay. Yeah, just fine. Okay. So uh, minus value infinite, obviously. Yeah. Okay, and here is the loop over the moves. Good. So we do pseudo legal now captures because it's not a quiescence, right? Mm, here we want to say the value, this one. Value equals minus search minus beta minus alpha. The Nigmax framework itself and depth minus one. Okay. Take move back and well this part just to grab it a bit more precisely this should be um, Yeah here is here is the snippet. So like absolutely like what we have here but here they do separate this uh, so beta is before the best score but here it should be inside best value yeah so we just grab this one instead copy and so the logic is literally the same just just to compare things Okay, so if value greater than best value, best value equals to value, value greater than alpha, best move. Okay, we don't have yet the best move. Okay, well, we need to, to make that. Best move equals to move. Mm, update PV. Yeah, so this one would be custom. Update PV. Uh, so it's not going to be implemented for now. And update alpha. Actually, doesn't seem to be updated in alpha at the moment. In a sec. If score is greater than alpha, yeah, and they call it if value is less than beta. Oh, the, but that's because, yeah, alpha should be always less than beta always. Yeah, so as far as we don't keep track of the PV node at the moment, I just command that out for a while. We would be having this, obviously, but just a bit later. So this is it. And else alpha equals to score. Yeah, alpha equals to the else, and this one. Uh, so here it should be like values greater equals than beta. Yeah, probably it's already some saving here. Mm. I don't even know. Yeah, 
Yeah, so here value should be greater or equals to the data, but if if we do make this as as an expression, which is be slightly slower. This is what I mean. Score greater than alpha, score greater equals than beta. So yeah, they do this uh, a little bit different. So this should be Well, I don't have assertions, so... Hold on a sec, why do they break from here? Well, it's a bit... Okay, guys. I'm sorry. So yeah, I just really need to research this. This already seems seems a little bit like an optimization. So probably let's just keep the the basic setup for a while. So yeah, if value is best, better than best value. Update the value, and then. If value is greater than alpha, so yeah. Uh, so that value greater than alpha, then alpha is equal to value. Here, if value is greater or equals than beta, then we just return value, right? Lots of stuff here as well. Uh, or even Oh, no, 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 hold on a sec, this should be, sorry guys, just, uh, not exactly like this, values greater than alpha than here, we need to say, nope, like this, this is fine, uh, if it also is greater or equals than beta, then we need to return value, that's it. Okay. Here we would be updating uh, killer moves and not sure here or here apparently would be updating 
or principal variation. Uh, hold on a sec, not value is greater than, but it should be greater than best value. So, yeah. So again, like let's just, you know, this part. So, this can be written as like so. Just a just a, a little optimization already. Yeah, like this. So if score is greater than best score, so if value is better than, is greater than best value, we do first we do update the best value. Okay. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on a sec. What have I done? No, school value greater than alpha. It's correct. I had the best value already. Okay. So, if, so the first condition, the value should be greater than best value. This is it. And we update the best value here. Then the next step, if the value is greater than alpha, then we update the alpha. Why do I have... Damn. Uh, sorry, guys. Just Let's just start from the very beginning. So, if value is greater than best value, best value equals to value. Good. Uh, Then the next condition, if value is greater than alpha, then we need to we need to update alpha. So alpha equals to value, right? And here if value is greater or equals than beta we just return beta okay Yeah, still need to think where exactly uh, I'm gonna be picking up the best move and collecting the principal variation. It's, it's, uh, I, I'm really not used to this fail soft framework. I, I, I've been doing fail hard framework all my life, basically, so I really feel uh, a bit <laughs> uncomfortable with this fail soft framework. But in theory, this should be actually a better one. Okay, okay. So here we have loop over moves. Do move, take back. Well, actually, this is quite pretty trivial. And here we have recursive Nigamax call. Okay. So here we found a better move. Updating the best value. Okay, and yeah, but still, hold on a sec. I'm just wondering. 
Yeah, so the, the best value is updated here, but the best move is updated for some reason where the alpha, uh, if it created the alpha. Well, that makes sense, obviously, definitely. And, that, and there, the PV update as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm just wondering where where is the move best move being defined? Initially, are you kidding me? Hmm. This is strange. Okay, I need the first occurrence of the best move. No, it's not that. I need the alpha beta one. Yeah, here. Okay, so move, transposition move, move, exclude move, and the best move. Where's this one used? Not sure. Okay. So is this defined before oh even before the best value well, it doesn't matter really that much but okay so let's have move best move anyway uh we need to associate uh the move uh so best move equals move here, right? And by the way, why move is like this? Mm. Uh, here is the loop over the moves. Oh, because move equals to. Oh, uh, well, yeah, they, they do use their complicated move picker here. That's the reason why the move is done like this. Uh, yeah, in, in our case, we don't really need that. At least for now. Okay. So, here we can just say, so let's say, update best move. And here to do update PV. So best move equals to M in our case, because here is the way how we do the loop over the moves. So this M. Well, I could have could have actually called it move like this. But yeah, just to avoid, just to avoid I don't know, so here it's called move. It's, it's, it serves like the same purpose, but okay, let's rename this to move. Move, move. I really like the meaningful variable names, to be honest. Move and move. And this should be it, really. And no, hold on a sec. Move. Just want to check my perf quickly. So when I do print this move, yeah, this this is printable. Only move, not the score. How on earth do I get the score? Is also a bit of a question. So maybe I would need
need to alter the slope slightly. I don't really like this C++ cool definitions. I don't understand what it does, but don't really feel that comfortable with that. Actually, I don't feel, feel comfortable with the C++ at all. Uh, I really like to work with C, but fortunately here I had to work with the C++. Okay. Yeah, what, what confuses me a little bit is that how can I... How can I access the move score? So here is the call to the move list. Uh, to, to, to the generate function, right? It gives the move list, but move list does contain like both. Move and the score. So here it is the move and the value. And it seems like it just returned the first one. If only could to alter this. Well, it's hard to say. It's not, it's not really that essential to the initial experiment I'm going to be doing here, but... Yeah, it's, it's still a question on how to, uh, how to uh, access this value for a given move, because it seems like the pointer, this auto pointer here, uh, it only it, it accesses the verb first. It seems like it acts. It does access the verb first element. So point po points here where, where the move is basically. So here's where it points. The verb first element within the structure. So maybe I could have specified the offset somehow. Something like move, <coughs> move plus the offset for this move. Well, technically, that should be something like. Okay, uh, I just really need to uh, learn some basics about C, really, because otherwise it's just a guess, and really. Okay, but anyway, at the moment, we don't really seem to be much caring about that. So. Now the only thing left is that we need to associate the best move with the best score. Okay. And the best move is available here, right? So this means that If it is actually available, well, let's actually make it equal to move none for a while because if there are no moves, just to avoid some segmentation faults or something. Okay, let's, okay, guys, just let's uh, try to compile this because, yeah, it didn't compile for quite a bit of time. Oh, okay. So first of all, we need the stack pointer. So uh, uh, and actually, yeah, actually, let's make it. Uh, 
like this best move equals to move none uh, which is equal to zero if I'm not mistaken Minus B minus alpha. So what's wrong? What's wrong with the recursive call? Oh, sorry. We need we need the position, obviously. Position. Okay. Best score. Uh, sorry. It's called best value. Okay, best move is not used. What? It is used. What what do you mean it's not used? Hold on a sec. Best move is used here. Are you kidding me? I'm very confused because how compiler can't see this? <laughs> okay, this is getting really strange to say at least.
but really the best move is being used here. This is very strange. Uh, I feel I feel incredibly confused. So best move equals to move. How many times the secure is? Yeah, it does get res it gets reset it here. Move none. This is this is it. And only two occurrences, right, in the original search. So only here when it get it gets updated. Here. Oh, it's this the last best move. Okay. So let's let's match the exact occurrence okay so it happens twice make move and search ah within the quiescence yeah within the quiescence and within the nigamax search yeah the, well this, this is this is really nice how else this could be then obviously yeah but I'm just really wondering why does it give this error? This is so weird. I do use the best move. The variable best move set but not used. Maybe declare it somewhere else. No, it's declared the same, the same place. Like I remember, like best value and, the, and below and above that the best move. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I just really feel confused with this C plus plus specific stuff. I have no idea. So how, how how you can give me this warning? It's so weird. It is used. One four three. It is used, man. It is used here. Can you see this? Uh, here. I'm sorry. Okay, just just a proof of concept. Are you gonna wait the warning now? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's sad, but it's not used. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't actually do anything with this best move. That's the reason. Okay, I'm sorry. C++ compiler. I'm, I'm really sorry for this. Yeah, you were right, man. Yeah, C++ compiler is always smarter than you are. That's good. Okay, so yeah, I don't actually use this. Mm. Uh, so let's say... How can I... Well, I don't know, probably just just for now, I could have used... This is just a placeholder, guys, so I'll just use a, a global one. Later on, would it be uh, the matter of principal variation table? Or, uh, uh, or anyway, there should be some structure to keep track of that. I'm, not, I'm just not doing any structures yet but anyway in search.h there should be the structure stack uh, search h uh, I probably kick that yeah so it's no longer there okay uh, so no move let's call it just global best move uh, I just want to prove a concept now and it equals to move none 
and so where can we return well actually here let's say that global best move equals to best move yeah good so still hope still alive okay so yeah let's try to search let's try to search now I'm really wondering yeah let's better place this guy Okay, so you know, like this, so it, 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 it would be available within search here. Nope, here. So the very first thing, the, the, the very s the simplest thing is actually to say, uh, so let's say value. best value equals to search and position minus infinity plus infinity infinity and the depth so depth and or probably I don't even need that so let's try limits depth like this yeah and after that I want to say stdc out and best move so this is the USA format, just leave a space, nothing much. And then I want UCI move like this. Wondering. No, it doesn't give a new line, so I should have done that. By hands. Okay, guys, just hold my breath and trying to uh, hear just that global, global best move. I have no idea whether it works actually or not. Oh, best value is not. Yeah, mm, yeah, we don't we don't actually need this best value because not printing the stats or something. So for now, it doesn't matter really. We just bring the best move. To make it uh, talk to the GUI basically so and I'm not even sure if go depth let's say free I don't know okay it does give a best move b7 to b0 this is weird because why does it play with the black pieces Hmm. Yeah, the good the, the good thing is it actually does output the best mode. This is really good. Obviously, no principal variation lines, no iterative dipping, literally nothing. But at least we have the best move. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I believe that 
here. I also need to do this because otherwise, yeah. Mm. Okay, now it seems like at least it's playing from the white perspective. This seem this still this would be horrible, I believe. But at very least from now on, we can already try to test this in the GUI. Okay, guys. So the moment of truth. Let's go for it. So as far as does out with the best move, it would be playing horrible, really horrible. CNC at the moment would be blundering pieces because no quest and search, but uh, this should be already enough for my, for the proof of concept interaction with the GUI I've created. So just started by npm start. Yeah, it just takes time to run initially for some reason. Okay, so I want the engine one to be. Uh, CNC stockfish, right? Source. And where is it? kidding me okay here is the first one you don't even say anything come on hmm. uh, maybe I just didn't click no it, it, it is loaded quite a fun uh, just doesn't say anything. Okay, let's let's try to go to the blind mode. So let's say four ply depth and make move. Wait, with prints go move time. It shouldn't be like that. Okay, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. It sucks at the moment. So. Yeah, I just want to test back with, well, say, say my engine will call now, okay. Mm. If I go for fixed, fixed depth search. Mm. Oh, this is just this is just a bug within the GUI. Yeah, I should have fixed that as well. Just wondering. Okay, it doesn't doesn't really matter that much. It's not the biggest issue. Or, or, uh, I should have fixed that as well, but it's not the case at least for this video. So, uh. It should have a uh, open terminal. CNC stockfish. Yeah, at least it should be printing this stuff in UCI go depth. Oh, come on, don't tell me that I don't, don't support it yet. Four. Yeah, it should be printing, it should be doing something. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, guys, just, I just paused the video, just need to check up my GUI because something's going wrong and get back to it just right at the moment. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, I'm, extremely, I'm extremely sorry, just... 
uh, forgot to enable the recording back uh, so I've just fixed all the issues uh, so just forgot to uh, I, I, I just ruined up update of the FVN when the position FVN happens and also uh, I fixed the GUI as well so let's have a quick look again at the very first uh, proof of concept uh, of this engine actually searching so I want to load the engine and I just say CNC stockfish source and the executable so now final prints the output also only the fixed depth mode is now available and let's say engine would be playing black and we can already try to play versus it so you see like it starts making the most well obviously it's not it's not capable of checkmating yet so it won't checkmate you because it knows literally nothing about the checkmate so I kind of like have all the chances to win if I could only play Chinese chess obviously so so what can we do okay this tries to grab my knight yeah not that bad well obviously uh, it doesn't even have the quest sensors it has literally nothing but it also it already creates the issues for me which is really cool so we can play and yeah I gotta check now yeah so we can play this is this is very interesting and well probably just to make it a little bit more exciting uh, well I'm, I'm just wondering is this gonna be searching at the depth uh, five points depth uh, let's go to analysis mode make move it takes time but still still just fine so let's go for a new game and let's try to play a game versus other engine just as a proof of concept well, obviously it would definitely lose because it's so damn weak at the moment but let's try my Okun here uh, and just to make it a bit more fair so five ply depth here as well so just to, to give uh, more more or less equal chances well it's not it's not so because Wukun actually has the question search and it would be really much better here but uh, j j just want to give you a proof of concept that even now we can already actually start playing games and this is really this is this is really awesome I believe so let's say CNC stockfish would be playing red and my Okun CNC would be playing black and here we go so we're watching from uh, CNC stockfish's perspective okay just started with blundering a piece and yeah, really slow with depth 5 already because it doesn't have any more water in at the moment that's the reason why it's so so slow but it's capable of moving pieces and actually playing the game it's capable of losing the game which makes it an engine already which is good really so yeah we'll try to avoid get getting his pieces captured so it's very listed place place it very first game nothing really special but everything starts with this little steps and uh, by the time of debugging the app uh, I've really realized that there are lots of things that I need to actually kind of change to add some features like uh, as I had before the line to send the commands to the engine directly directly in key to re reveal all the possible cases if the engine is not working properly that that's really uh, important thing basically important idea so now it should get checkmated soon okay yeah well obviously it would lost but yeah 
these two engines have exactly the same evaluation. Uh, it's a little bit strange why kilonodes per seconds are not shown. It's probably because of the fixed depth nodes, uh, fixed depth mode. That's, that's another thing to. Uh, okay, what what are they doing still? There's some sort of a bug. Get back to analysis mode. Uh, oh, probably is this a mate already, or a stalemate, or I don't understand. Yeah, really, lots of things to debug within the GUI actually. But let's have a look at the move list. So let's have a look at the game from start. So CNC Stockfish is playing red. Just try to understand what, what has just happened. Well, not that bad at all. Bear in mind that this is just a search placeholder. It's not really that bad at all. Well, it's blundering pieces, but... Okay, so now the skin doesn't have any square to move. Then I, I don't understand why... Oh, hold on a sec. I just clicked the wrong... Something has gone wrong here. Yeah, probably uh, uh, CNC Stockfish stopped outputting the modes here. I believe that's the reason. Well, that, that, that's possible, that's possible, really. Just probably stop outputting the most at this point. But anyway, it's really, really did manage to play a plenty amount of moves, which is really good. Well, okay, guys, uh, I think this is pretty not that bad at all for a start. And I think that actually from now on the development would go uh, a little bit more... Uh, forget the word maybe exciting maybe let's say the development should be slightly a bit more exciting from this point okay guys this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care